We'll start with questions in the room. Ryan, would you like to start us off? Sure. Um, hi, y'all. Uh, congrats on the victory. Um, just both of your thoughts on, on this match overall. Um, you know, obviously the emotions of, of players coming back and, you know, being in front of your home fans for the first time in a long time. Uh, what was it like? It felt, it felt really good. I think we were all really excited for this game because we we're all back as a group and I think there was a little bit of a new fresh energy. Um, we knew this was a big game. If we win this game, we're top of the table and North Carolina is a good team. And then to do that on top of, you know, what happened in the beginning of the game and to win a game playing a player down for that long shows a lot about what this team has in us and that's fight. And I think we showed that today and it was, it was a fun game. Yeah, I don't think anyone's surprised that we did that. I think there was this last week of training, like the unity that we have together, we had when they were gone, but there is a piece when they come back where there's just this like confidence injected into the team. And I don't think there was any point in time where anybody thought we were going to lose that game. Um, and I think we played exactly like that, where we never thought we were going to lose. And then we did. We won the hard way. <laughs> very hard way yeah. I mean 80 <laughs> minutes or so uh, without uh, an 11th player um, what do you both make of the resilience of the team given what happened in, in that moment we are a high pressing physical athletic team I think that that's something that's in our identity and every single person has that to bring when we have 11 people on the field and I think we also work for each other it's very very corny but it really is a job and a half uh, when you do what we do um, so this time it was just a job and three fourths mm -hmm. doing just a little bit more because you knew that someone would be behind you and you would just figure it out. So I'm not yeah. too surprised by it. Yeah, I think being resilient is nothing new to this team. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. The things that we have had to go through and get through together as a team, it's just, it's amazing mm -hmm. how resilient we've had to be and we continue to be. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what separates us from every team in the league. And so for you, welcome back, obviously. Um, did not take you long to <laughs> get in the scoring book. Um, but what was your mindset as soon as you came on and, and your thoughts on, on that goal? I mean, I wanted to come in and help the team in whatever way I could. I wanted to make an impact. Um, and I'm, honestly, I miss scoring goals. <laughs> so I was just like really hungry for a goal. Um, but yeah, I knew how important it was to get this win, and the team had put in so much work before I came in. Hannah scoring a sick <laughs> goal, excuse my language. But like, we don't want that to just not be a difference maker in a game. We want that goal to, to be remembered and to stand out at all times, and that's what happens when you win. Um, so that was important to me. And then, yeah, I just I watched my teammates work their butts off the whole game, and I knew that I wanted to come in and help kind of put the game away to reward everyone for the work that they did. Hey, Soph, can you talk to us about, like, once your name was called to be subbed on, the crowd just went absolutely ballistic. Have you ever felt like the, anything like that before in your career? Oh, I mean, I feel like that every time I play here. I love playing here. The fans are just, their energy is contagious, and they make you feel appreciated and loved and wanted here, and I think that's, that's the best feeling ever. So, yeah, um, after a tough World Cup, it's really nice to come back and still feel love mm -hmm. <laughs> so not it's nice to like know that not everyone's just like uh. i was also excited to see you come <laughs> in. And it makes you, you came Thank in and i was you. like oh i mean dang <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i had to warm them up for you so you were you were ready to go <laughs> oh my god yeah no i mean it just it's so fun to play in the stadium i think all our whole team that's the best part about playing here it's the fans and it's how they show up for us every single game that we play. And then Hannah, can you talk to us about getting this big start against the uh, former number one team uh, in the table? Uh, how much did that mean to you to get that opportunity and score a goal? In the yeah, team? I mean, I have kind of a big person in front of me that's kind of a big deal sometimes. Um, so I think just every moment through this break while she's been gone doing some cool stuff, I guess, in Australia, um, I've just been trying to take every... every what, what am I going to say? Um, but it's, I've been just cherishing every moment that I got because it is, you know, those moments are hard to get when you have someone who's as proficient and talented as she is. So I knew that we were going to be working her back in and that this was going to be an opportunity to, you know, 
lay some groundwork and continuing learning what I've learned and being just the best teammate I could be and providing the most um, support that the team needed from me. So uh, that's what I did. I was just attacked it head on. I knew um, that she'd be coming in. So yeah, we just figured it out. Expanding on that a little bit, Hannah, uh, you took on some new roles while the international players were away. What did you learn about yourself in that time, and how do you parlay that uh, through the final stretch of the season? I think my time spent on this team has really been all about patience. When you're on a team that is just so stacked, like really with the most talented people to ever play this sport, not just on this team, not just in this league, but in the like longevity of this game, they are the best to ever do it. Patience is something you have to learn. Um, so I think with that, confidence is hard to find whenever you don't necessarily have a lot of opportunities, and rightfully so with these legends in front of you. I think this opportunity gave me what I needed to you know, confirm, you know, yeah, I do deserve to be here. I have been working for years to do this and learning a new position. And I may have these people in front of me, but I'm also learning from them and not taking their expertise for granted. So I think it proved to myself and proved to everyone around me that, you know, I'm, I'm here, I'm here to contribute, I'm here to do whatever role I have and gave me that confidence. So going forward, I think I can, you know, keep nurture, nourishing that confidence, keep being just bigger and bolder and keep pushing people to be the best version of themselves and the team will do nothing but benefit from that. Thank you. Yeah. Sophia, uh, from your time on the international team, what did you learn as a leader of this team that you're bringing back and to push this team to the next level? Um, I learned I learned a lot of things at the World Cup. I, it would take days to list everything, but I think the biggest thing is that things aren't always going to go your way. Um, games are hard. Opponents, you know, like pro give different tests every game. You never know what it's going to be. You can have a game plan. You can have tactics. All of that, you know, ultimately doesn't matter as much as just showing up and performing and putting in the work. And I think coming back into this team, my my biggest thing is, first of all, to continue being who I am and to not let, you know, what happened change me in any way. If anything, to let it, you know, put a, a little fire in me and make me hungrier and make me want more and to help this team in any way that I can. But... Yeah, I mean, it just it honestly feels really good to come back and to play with this team and to just kind of continue on what we were doing before we left and what they were doing while we were gone and to build off of that. But yeah, I learned I learned a lot of things about myself at this World Cup. And I think for that, I'm grateful for the experience. And I know that it will only help me become a better person and a, a better player and teammate. All right. And on that note, I think we will wrap it up with you, too. So thank you both for your time.